AZEC porch should be installed using the same good building principles used to install wood or composite porch and in accordance with your local building codes. Remember that AZEC porch rim joist covers may not be suitable for every application, such as not being suitable for waterproof applications, and it is your responsibility to make sure that AZEC porch is fit for the intended use. It is also recommended that all applications be reviewed by a licensed architect, engineer, or local building official before you begin your installation. As always, wear safety glasses during your porch installation. Let's get started. On the job site, you'll want to make sure to always store AZEC porch boards on a flat and level surface, but never stack the bundles over 8 units high. When possible, leave the protective wrap on the product to help protect it from dirt and debris, and avoid storing AZEC porch boards in areas of excess heat. Before you begin to build your porch, there are a few key things to keep in mind. First. AZEC porch is one-sided, with the grain side up for the walking surface. Next, joists under an AZEC porch should be sloped one quarter inch per foot away from the house to facilitate drainage. Prior to installation, check to make sure all of your joists are level, structurally sound, and there are no nails or screws protruding. You will also want to make sure that all joists are crowned correctly and that all joists are level across the top as AZEC porch will conform to the surface contour of the substructure. That means if your joists are uneven, your porch may be uneven. Lastly, you will need to make sure your joists are properly spaced prior to installation. For correct joist spacing, you may not exceed 16 inches center to center for applications where the porch board will be installed perpendicular to joists. If you install AZEC porch boards on a 45-degree angle, the joists should not exceed 12 inches center to center. Remember, AZEC porch has a maximum span of 16 inches. Be sure to install sufficient wood blocking below areas where railing posts will be installed. Also, provide proper structural support below AZEC porch where load-bearing columns are present. AZEC porch can be installed using similar tools as you would use to install wood porch products. You can use a corded or cordless driver or screw gun. Self-feeding screw guns can also be used. Just check with the manufacturer for compatibility with AZEC porch. To cut the porch boards, use a miter saw with a fine-toothed carbide-tipped finished trim blade, such as a 12-inch, 60-tooth minimum blade. To get started, install starting board with grooved edge against the house or on the outside edge of the porch if the boards will run perpendicular to the house. Then, attach the starting board by first installing fasteners down through the board at the edge nearest the groove. Next, attach the board at each joist by driving a fastener through the tongue at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Fasteners should seat approximately 1 16th of an inch into the surface of the product above the tongue to allow for complete insertion of the next board. The porch must be fastened tight to the joist. If there are variations in framing, shims may be required. After you have thoroughly engaged the board onto the starting board, drive a fastener through the tongue at each joist. For fastening, due to the durability of AZEC porch products, a high-quality fastener is recommended. Fasteners should be 305 stainless steel and at least a number 7 screw size. Face screws must be a minimum of 2 inches long with a number 17 drill point. When using a pneumatic flooring nailer, we suggest using barbed or serrated 2-inch stainless steel cleat T-nails or L-cleats. For saltwater coastal applications, we recommend using a 316 stainless steel fastener in the proper size. When fastened properly, AZEC porch will demonstrate minimal changes due to expansion and contraction. If it does occur, the expansion and contraction encountered may result in slight gaps, which may be noticed at the ends of boards or in splice joints. Keep in mind that expansion and contraction is most significant where extreme temperature changes may exist. The best practice is to fasten the porch boards as soon after cutting as possible. Then, install the boards together tightly at splices or miters. Always be sure to fasten ends of boards, splices, or abutments to building or structure securely into framing using a screw that is placed within one half inch of the end of each board or joint. For best results, stagger splices and miters across the porch surface so that all splices and miters do not break on the same joist. To further minimize expansion and contraction, allow for proper ventilation and airflow. You then install the next board by inserting the grooved edge over the exposed tongue on the starting board. It may be necessary to apply light pressure to make sure the board is engaged completely and minimize the irregularity in the top seam. 
Remember to countersink each fastener slightly to provide the necessary clearance so the next board can be installed. Continue to add boards in this manner until the outer edge of the porch is reached. The final board may require you to remove the tongue or rip cut the board to fit. Use a table saw or circular saw to accomplish this if necessary. Then, attach the last board by face fastening through the top or toe fasten it along the outer edge. There are many options for completing the look of your AZEC porch. One option is to cover the exposed edge with AZEC trim or AZEC deck rim joist cover. Another option is to picture frame the entire porch using AZEC deck as a border. If this option is chosen, you will need to lay out the porch accordingly to accommodate the variance in spacing and height, or you could attach an AZEC molding profile to the exposed edge. AZEC porch may also be used for stair treads. For complete information, refer to the AZEC website for details.